It is time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. Today we're talking about five big investment mistakes. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thanks so much for being here. It's great to be back, Kara. So uh, nobody's perfect, but there are five big mistakes you really, really, really want people to avoid. Right. We want people to have a good, secure retirement. So if you can avoid these mistakes, even in retirement, they'll save you a lot of pain. You'll probably end up with a lot more money. Okay. Number one trying to time the market. This just does not work. And the problem is there's all kinds of articles that we can read about people that have successfully called a downturn and, and there are trading programs you can buy online. Just doesn't work, especially for the average person that's working and trying to save for retirement. So just don't do it. Don't try to go in and out of the market. Most people end up selling when it's low and buying when it's high. Greed and fear would drive most people. So you don't want to get hurt this way. Number two, you do not want people to borrow from their retirement funds, no loans against your 401k, even if that's sanctioned by your company. Yeah, I mean, just don't do it. Even if it's sanctioned by the company, it's kind of sanctioned by the company because it's a provision that you, they can use to attract workers because most companies do that. But it just does not make sense to borrow from your retirement. Usually there's some other way to pay for those things you're thinking about borrowing for. Okay. And you don't want people switching 401k funds. Like, don't just go in there and switch all your choices at the end of the year. Right. And what most people do care is after the end of the year, they look back and they see what performed the best and they move their money into those funds that perform the best. Inevitably, what happens is now those, for, those uh, funds are in for a downturn. And so you end up buying the last year's performance. Never a good idea. Set up an allocation and stick with it. Okay. Uh, the other thing you don't want people to do is be impatient. <laughs> right. Don't be impatient. Warren Buffett says the stock market market is a place where impatient people transfer money to patient people. So be patient, get a plan and be patient. Okay. And that is the fifth mistake is you don't want people to just go out there and be willy nilly. If you don't have a real plan, that's not a good thing. Right. Get a plan, be patient with the plan. Don't switch around. But having that plan helps you from making mistakes because you can look back when your emotions get in the way and say, no, I've got a plan. I'm going to stick with it. Okay, so if you have questions, personal questions about your own situations, you can reach out to Joel and his team. You can go by going to the website bettermoneytv.com. People can send their own personal questions and, you and your team will answer that. It, absolutely, and we get a lot of questions, Kara, mm -hmm. about these mistakes. And sometimes people just say, hey, you know, should I switch my 401k funds? We were talking about switching around. You know, this one did so much better last year. We help them put together an allocation that they can stick with. So every one of these mistakes, I can't tell you how much we see people getting hurt if they don't follow good advice. Alrighty, thank you so much, Joel. Thank you. That's Better Money.